All right, it's been a day since my last update on my nerd typing setup, and I've already made two upgrades, at least I think they're upgrades. One is there were a few comments about, well, you know, with the cursor, or sorry, with the, the vertical mouse between the two halves of my split uh, Kinesis Advantage 360 keyboard, yeah, that might be a little awkward. I was complaining about it. And some people suggested I have a trackpad in between. And other people suggested I have um, a trackball. I've never cared much for track trackballs myself. But one suggestion uh, was that I use, um, was it an Apple Magic Trackpad 2 uh, and put that on a riser? in between the two halves so that I can use my thumbs. And so I ordered such a thing and I got it uh, today. So same day delivery. And I am using uh, Montaigne's uh, Collected Works, which turns out that uh, is exactly the right height for the split keyboard. So use Montaigne probably wouldn't have anticipated. Um, anyway. So Montaigne can still be useful in addition to his words. Yeah, it seems to be okay. Um, I'll give it a try. Uh, you know, that seems much better than going up to the trackpad because it, I noticed that if I have to go back to, up to the tra trackpad of my laptop, then I just start typing on my laptop, which is not, not ideal. Um, and then I've moved my vertical mouse to the right and... That was also part of the suggestions like, okay, well use your, the vertical mouse for things where you're, you're spending a lot of time using the mouse. That makes sense. But you know, for the, the types of quick things where you would just use a thumb on a trackpad, um, and your laptop, well, you know, you can still do the same sort of thing. Now it's a little bit of a stretch just, you know, with the hand position, but it's certainly much faster for me to, to move. Um, a hand slightly to the left to get a thumb on the trackpad than it is for me to move my hand all the way to the mouse and you know wrap my hand around the mouse and all that stuff. So it's much faster and, it, and feels much more comfortable and I'm not having to go up to the, the trackpad on my laptop. So, so far, so good. Uh, the Montaigne riser might need some work. You know, if nothing else, it's the trackpad can kind of move around a little bit. So I might need to mount it on something a little more uh, stable. But, you know, to start with, it's good. The other change uh, I've made is I've put the uh, laptop stand on a molecular biology textbook. Actually, quite a good molecular biology textbook uh, by Weaver. <clears throat> and... Uh, that also can serve purpose besides learning about molecular biology. Um, and the idea is that supposedly the top of the screen is supposed to be at eye level. It's still a little bit low for me. Um, I could put an another couple of books underneath, I think, but getting closer. So, you know, incremental improvements. I think I'm starting to reach, you know, kind of a fixed point here. Um, you know, at some point I think it becomes good enough. I might make little tweaks here or that there. You know, one thing that still annoys me is I'm just so used to the arrow keys being in that inverted T shape. Um, that was a big thing. If I ever had a laptop where the arrow keys weren't inverted T, that really upset me. Um, and so having... Having the keys uh, split the way they are, kind of annoying. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know. I've, I've resisted uh, remapping those or moving the, the arrow keys so far. Mm. Yeah, I don't... I don't know if there's a good way to to put those that are not going to... That's not going to mess up the Dvorak layout. So right now I'll deal with it, um, but that's still... An annoyance and I'm still getting used to remapping sort of the chords 
for Emacs, you know, I'm just used to certain meta control this thing or whatever. Um, that I, I'm still trying to get used to, but that will come in time. Anyway, that's my new updated setup. You can see it's got kind of a, a mess of wires right now. Well, that is true. Uh, also, I got a recommendation to get a USB hub. A couple of people recommended that. And there are also these USB super hubs that also can run multiple 4K monitors and are basically little computers and cost 400 bucks. Um, yeah, I don't know. I Right this second, I don't feel the need for that. So that's my latest setup. Uh, I hope that I'm reaching a fixed point, like I said. Yeah, we'll see. We'll go from there. All right. Talk to you soon.